In today's video, I'll be comparing DX11 with DX12 in Helldivers 2 on a Radeon 7900 XTX with a Ryzen 7800 X3D PC. We're going to go over the good and the bad. I'll be showing you a very quick tutorial how to enable DX11 because you can't actually choose it from the in-game menu. You have to force it on. However, I do suggest you watch the video before you commit to doing this. What you want to do is you want to go into your app data folder and then click on Arrowhead Studios folder and then Helldivers 2 folder and then Shader Cache folder and delete whatever's in there. Those are the shaders for DX12. And then you want to go to Helldivers 2 on your Steam library, right click properties and then under launch options, paste this command and that's it. The game should launch in DX11. We're going to begin with 1440p native. Here's the settings. We're maxing all the graphical settings out. And then we'll also check out 1440p ultra quality. And then on the second half, we'll check out 4K. Now, if you look at the performance numbers, it actually looks great. DX11 on the right has a lot more FPS than DX12 on the left. However, you're going to come to realize that the 1% lows are actually not as good. So the gains are in overall frames per second, but not 1% lows. And once we get to the 4K part of this video, you will see some uh, really uh, weird issues that would make DX11 uh, pretty much a no-go for me. But at 1440p, it seems to be actually pretty good. Again, 1% lows, we don't see that same gain that we do in FPS. As a matter of fact, I did play for about 5 to 10 minutes on 1440p native so why don't we skip ahead and compare the averages and one percent lows to see what the gains are on dx11 and then we'll drop to ultra quality and see if there's any more fps gains to be had but things look good our 7900 xdx is running at 100 percent on dx11 whereas it's not at 100 percent on dx12 very interesting but anyway let's compare the numbers and on DX11, we have an average gain of 38%, which is pretty nice, but only 6% on the 1% lows. And I want you to pay close attention to the frame time graph on the DX11 part, how it's not nearly as smooth and linear as it is on DX12. And this is something that it's kind of strange, actually. And I don't know if it's because this game wasn't designed with DX11 in mind. Uh, I mean, you can't choose it off the menu. You have to force it in. So I don't really know. But this becomes an issue at 4K for some reason. And we're going to take a look at that. But so far, the average gains are nice. The game, we're getting more FPS, even though the 1% lows feel about the same so if we had seen 38% gains on the 1% lows that would have been excellent but anyway let's check out ultra quality and see what happens there this is where I dropped from 1440p native to ultra quality and examining this footage now it's actually quite interesting well first of all we've become CPU bound on the DX11 side and then I ended up playing the rest of the mission, which was about 15 minutes of gameplay with 1440p ultra quality. And we're going to look at the numbers and it's actually quite interesting because, well, we know that DX12 was supposed to utilize the CPU better, especially multi-core CPU, whereas DX11 was more single core focused, at least that from what I know, that's how it's supposed to be. And I think that's kind of what we're seeing here. Because if we were to skip ahead towards the end of the recording and compare our averages and 1% lows like we did with 1440p native, that gap has shrunk tremendously, actually. Whereas previously, we had 36% advantage on the X11 on the FPS averages. Now it's only 21%. And we had a s only 6% advantage on 1% lows, whereas now... There's a 2% advantage on DX12 side. So that's kind of interesting because, you know, we're using a 7800X3D, which is, you know, one of the fastest gaming CPUs that you can currently buy. So these are interesting results. As a matter of fact, we only gained 3 FPS on the averages and 4 FPS on the 1% lows. This is very interesting stuff, though. I am glad I actually took a look at this because, uh, you know, I do like I do like looking into stuff like this. And 
you know, thanks to the community and people leaving comments. Um, I, I like to check these things out for you guys and uh, see what the differences are. So I would say at 1440p though, DX11 is, is a win. I mean, you are getting more FPS even though it seems to not utilize the CPU as well. Just based off my little testing here, I would say that it is a win overall. But at 4K, man, there's some weird issues. Let's check it out. Very weird. Okay. Let's take a look at 4K now. We're going to look at our settings here. So we're running the game at 4K native, full screen, maxed out graphics. And as you can see on DX12 side, the game's yeah, 50 to 60, around 60 FPS. Nice and smooth, 54 FPS, 1% lows. And then if we look on the right on DX11 and we pop up our performance metrics, look at that frame time. It's horrendous. But not only that, but the game is actually running in slow motion. Look at how slow my guy is moving, but everything is in slow motion. It's the strangest things. And sometimes it's almost like it goes back to normal speed for like half a second. And I'm actually jumping around just to show that it's running in slow motion and our one percent lows are basically in the toilet and this is really strange because here you see me messing with the setting i'm trying to figure out what's going on so i basically turn on v-sync and it, it's like that judder gets a little bit better but then resetting the one percent lows it's like it goes back to two fps and it's not like it feels stuttery but it's in slow motion. It's, I mean, this is unplayable. I would never be able to play this game like this. I mean, maybe if you play solo, it would be kind of funny to play the game in slow motion. But it's not even that. It's inconsistent because it's like, it, I mean, it's almost like it's a, um, I don't know, like a record. You know, like when, when you were a kid, if you had a record player in your house, if you touch it, it like the music slows down. It kind of feels like that. Very inconsistent. And here I am, I'm trying to mess with the settings, lowering resolutions, trying to find out if it's uh, what's happening. But even at 1440p, actually, the frame time graph doesn't look great. Although the game does feel smoother, I suppose, or the, the speed doesn't feel as bad. I tried to turn on super sampling at 1440p, which brings it up to 4K essentially. So we are getting that 77 FPS with DX11 at 4K, but the game is still running in slow motion. Look at that grenade, how it goes in slow motion. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Uh, so yeah, it's very weird. Uh, I mean, 1% lows are terrible. As far as total FPS, yes, we are getting better performance than we were with the X12. At the X12 we were in the 60s, high 50s to 60 FPS, and with the X11 we're in the 70s. But again, the frame times the game is practically unplayable. And I try to look into this a bit and there is a few people that are experiencing this. Now, I don't know if they have the X11 enabled, but they're essentially saying that they're playing with other people and their character is moving slow. I've never experienced this before. This is the only first time I've experienced this on the X11. And I actually tried a different planet too, right here. And this one actually felt worse. Look at how slow my character is moving. It, <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. And you can see how it begins to move Almost like it starts to pick up speed, but then it slows back down. So, I I don't think this game was made to run on DX11. I mean, that's the only conclusion I can come to, because at DX12, there's none of these issues that I've experienced. And here's me restarting the game and trying a different planet. And the craziest thing is that when you're in the ship, it feels fine. You're moving at the right speed. But then you drop down into the planet. Here's me showing the settings at 4k with all maxed out settings with the x11 and the character still moving slow so uh, i i don't know what's up with this but what i ended up doing was i ended up going back to dx12 just to see if this issue persisted because again i had never seen it and here i am back on dx12 at 4k same settings i dropped on the same planet that i did before where i was trying to capture the footage and compare and now the game's running at the perfect right speed and if you look at the frame time graph it's extremely smooth 
even though we're getting between high 50s and 60 we're getting really nice one percent lows whereas at 4k with dx11 uh, it was horrendous so i don't know if anybody else is experiencing this if you are please let me know because i tried a few different planets i didn't check everything obviously but i tried three planets or so and it was the same thing at 4k as a matter of fact i didn't even try 1440p again to see if maybe it would happen again maybe i locked out the first time at 1440p on that group play i don't know but yeah that's that's kind of my findings so do with that what you will if you want to try it if you play at 1440p try it i mean even if you play 4k try it maybe you want to experience this and you can get higher no fps topic. although one percent lows they're pretty much the same as the x12 so uh, make of that what you will i guess but it was interesting to check out this video and i'm glad i did because uh, again it was something cool that um I, I got to experience and show you guys and share it with you guys so i hope you guys uh like this video and if you did give it a like and consider subscribing for more content but i think i'll be out with this one i want to play a little bit more hell divers too and i hope this video was of some use to, to somebody out there again thanks for watching and i hope you have a great one Bye bye